Hello, oh, that's off to a good start. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you are really well. I'm so excited to be back vlogging and gonna have a big old, where's that lip balm? A big, sorry, what is going on here? I can't get off my nail. A big old catch up with you. It's actually such a nice morning today, Sunday morning. So I've got the window open so there could be some noise. I've got a couple of jobs that I need to film today. Um, so I feel like this is quite dark. Is this looking dark? It's hard to tell on the camera. Um, so I thought we could get ready together and have a good old catch up. Eye cream is on. I wanted to start this vlog earlier, but you know when you're just like faffing around, I was putting on washing, hanging that up, then I changed the bed sheets. You know when you're just doing like things, like not even faffing about actually, to be honest, actually getting stuff done, but I'm now starting the vlog, so if I break this and go and make a coffee, I feel like oh, I'm just gonna get out of the swing. I think I'll do skincare, then we'll go and do a coffee. I was actually doing a Q&A on my Instagram the other day and somebody asked for um, some kind of like top skincare tips, just like general off the top of my head ones. Um, and one I always say is to hydrate in between cleansing and doing your serum because it just makes your serum um, soak in more. I love the LMS Superfood Mist, but to be honest, any mist is fine. I just really like this one. So when your skin is wet, you can put your serum on. I'm using the Skin SkinCeuticals. This is the CE Ferulic. Basically, this is super runny. So let me just put this on quickly. I feel like I can't multitask with this serum. I actually met with a dermatologist the other day and we were talking about how important it is. She was like telling me how important it is to really protect your skin. Um, and we were talking about UVA and UVB. I'm just gonna pop a bit of this on my neck. If you're not into skincare, you might find this boring, but I found this so interesting. So basically, you might already know this, the sun and the daylight gives off two rays, so UVA and UVB. UVB, if you think of B burnt, that is what, that's like from the sun and that's what will burn your skin. And I think that's what we all think about when we wear SPF to protect our skin. But actually, we actually get more damage on our skin from UVA a, which then people say A is for aging, just from the light, even if the sun's not out, like in winter. And I'm actually quite guilty of that. Like if it's not a sunny day, I'm not putting my SPF on. So that is something I really need to start doing. And basically she was also saying um, that um, vitamin C, especially this one from SkinCeuticals, this one has got um, like an antioxidant in that protects it from all the other free radicals that come from UVA, uh, yeah, UVA. So I think it's just about like really protecting our skin um, so we keep our skin looking nice and youthful for as long as possible. So there's just a little reminder to always um, be making sure that we're wearing UVA and UVB protection. She actually said that one of her favorite ones, I'll put a picture of it in here, it's the La Roche-Posay one. It's also, compared to some others, it's not too expensive and this gives you such high protection. So I've actually just ordered one of these from Boots. Um, this is something I'd actually usually wear on holiday on my face, but she said just to literally wear it every day. So I do want to keep my skin. I mean, like I spend so much money on skincare. I have Botox. I like invest a lot of money into my skin. So then if I'm not protecting it, what's the point of me spending all this money? Oh God, I've got the vitamin C on my brand new clean bedding. Anyway, enough of me trying to pretend like I know what I'm talking about and being a skincare scientist. Um, I feel like I've got so much to catch up on. Just before I forget to say, thank you so much to everyone who came to my charity clothes sale. I did it a couple of weeks ago and it was so lovely to meet so many of you. It was honestly, I was so nervous for it. It was like having a birthday party and like thinking about if nobody comes. Um, but a lot of people did turn up and we had such a good turnout. For SPF today, this is the one I've got at the moment. It's the Elizabeth Arden City Smart. It's got the broad spectrum, so that protects from everything, I believe. So you might have already seen this on my Instagram stories, but I'm donating the profits we made from the sale to two charities. Half is gonna to go to the Dogs Trust and half is gonna to go to Leukemia UK. If you've been watching my vlog for a while, you know we lost my uncle to leukemia two years ago. And the Dogs Trust as well, because 
I love dogs and I just wanted to support an animal charity. So I think, I just do need to confirm the final amount, but I think we're able to donate just over £460 to each charity, which is just amazing. So thank you so much to everyone who came and bought things. I'm just gonna let my skincare soak in for a sec and go and make a coffee, so I'll be back in a mo. Mmm, hot. So I hope you all had a nice Easter. How nice did it feel to have um, like a four day weekend? I think it's so nice to have. Oh, one sec. Easter weekend was so nice to have four days. And then this week has been quite the week because if you follow me over on Instagram, you'd have seen that my edit with Very has gone live. So it's so exciting because I've been working with Very for about four, four and a half years, I think. So to do an edit with them was so exciting. And we started it at the very beginning of the year. And if you've seen the pieces, they're all quite, um, well, they're all very springy and summer vibes. And it's just made me so excited for holidays and just like the warmer weather to come because I love spring fashion. I think spring, one sec, I just need my little mirror because it's so hard to see in the viewfinder. So it's been a good few months in progress. So, so excited um, to get it live. And we shot it in uh, three phases actually. So their head office is actually up in Liverpool. So we went up to Liverpool a couple of times for product meetings and product selection meetings to see all of the pieces and how we're gonna style them and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we also went up again for a shoot day up in Liverpool because um, they have their studios within their head office, which is really cool. So that was for like the e-commerce shoot. So all of the pictures um, on the website. Then we also did a shoot in London, which was really cool to do, yeah, like a street style shoot. I just felt like the pieces were so summery and I really wanted to shoot them abroad, um, especially for my content, because within the edit, there was a lot of scope of work. So I have a lot of content to create around the edit and also like very wanted a lot of imagery for their website and socials and stuff um but for my content i thought i really want to shoot this abroad so i booked quite a last minute trip for me and mum to go to spain just for one night so we had literally 24 hours in spain and we shot like 14 outfits bless my mum she really like plowed along with me so it was a very short and sweet trip but we got to all of the content and i was so happy with how it all came out by the way if you want a cream bronzer that either don't want to buy the Chanel one or can't get it because it's always sold out. The Beauty Pie one, it's called um, Awesome Bronze. I did actually get this last year and then I don't know why I stopped using it, but I've come back to it because it is so good. You only need a little bit. I'm just gonna um, take a bit off the brush because it is quite pigmented, but it's just as good as the Chanel one. And I don't actually know the price of this, but I know it will be at least half the price. And especially coming into the warmer months, I just love a cream bronzer to really warm up and bronze up your face. And the brush I'm using it for as well is a Beauty Pie one. It's their Pro Blend brush. Can't get the words out. I will link all of this below. Um, so yeah, Spain was a a success. We got loads of lovely, um, like really summery, springy feel content, which is exactly what I wanted to get. I was just so happy that we got all of that done. So you might have already seen that on my Instagram, but I'm going to show you more later in the video as well. Thank God he's a bit better this week, but last week, bless Bertie, we had, um, a little poorly doggy because basically, oh, such not even a long story, but I won't bore you with all the details. Basically, he had some kind of skin reaction on his neck. I'll put a photo in here of um, what it was like when, um, because when we took him to the vets, they shaved all of his neck so they could like see the skin and bless him. I know it's not like a broken leg or anything, but he was really feeling sorry for himself. He kept going to hide in really random areas of the house. He was being so unlike himself. And it just broke my heart that he was just looking so sad. Just would stand there staring at the wall or he wouldn't lie down. I couldn't put a cone on him because it was rubbing on the skin irritation. But also we had to stop him because he kept trying to itch it with his leg and obviously that would just make it worse. He was on antibiotics um, and we had to keep cleaning the skin. So I think, thank God it's cleared up now and he's back to himself. But if you have a dog, isn't it like the worst thing seeing them poorly? Bless them. But yeah, he is better now. I'm just going to use, actually this is Beauty Pie as well, um, some of the powder bronze for a little bit of eyeshadow. 
If you watched my vlog a couple of vlogs back where I was talking about my Loewe basket bag, um, it was a bit damaged and it just hadn't worn well at all. And I was really not, yeah, I was so disappointed with how it had worn. And I said in that vlog that I had taken it back um, into store to see if they could repair or replace. And they said they would send it back to Spain to see if they could repair it. Well, I had an email that from them earlier in the week to say that it was not able to be repaired and that they could either offer me a store credit or exchange. What I was worried about was uh, that it wouldn't be back in stock because last year you could not get hold of that bag in the colour that I have. Um, I'd got it two years ago and I love it so much. So I didn't want, I didn't want a refund. I just wanted a new bag um, because yeah, I really love that bag. So I went into store a couple of days ago and exchanged it. So I'll show you that in a minute as well. Let me just quickly pop some mascara on and we all know that I can't really do mascara and talk. I feel like I'm using loads of beauty pie beauty products at the moment. They're just so good. I've got a new lip product from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called, I actually don't know what this is called. I think it's, oh, Big Lip Plumpgasm. I was looking for the name on the bottom. It's a new lip gloss. This is in shade Pillow Talk. I don't actually like the Pillow Talk lipstick shade on me. It's too purpley, it's too dark, but this it's quite nice. So it's like a, it's a lip gloss, but it's so burny. Like it really tingles and burns because I think it's about, yeah, it's like lip plumping. The color's really nice. And when I first put it on, I did not read that. I just put it on thinking it was lip gloss. And I was like, oh my God, why are my lips burning so much? If you don't like that sensation, you won't like this because it feels quite strong. But if you like a, um, like plumping lip gloss that is quite nice and that color is oh it's pillow talk fair medium so it's actually probably a lighter pillow talk i need to sort out my hair and um, i'm just gonna have some of my coffee i've been watching is it cake on netflix i absolutely love it it's an american tv show where they make it's like a competition and they make hyper realistic cakes and they have to have judges in to um choose um which one is cake. I have not described that very well. So for example, this Stanley bottle, they'll have this as what they call a decoy, and then the baker will make a cake identical to this, and then the judge has to, um, they will guess which one is cake and which one is not. It's so good. I love watching it. I love baking programs, and it always makes me hungry for cake, and the talent that these people have is just unbelievable. How they... Oh, I just have no idea how they do it. But if you like that kind of thing, that's on Netflix. That's so good. I'm having my hair highlighted on Wednesday and I cannot wait. I don't know what's happened, but this time I just feel like my hair has been darker and I like it quite bright and blonde. Um, so I'm so excited to get my roots done. Usually on a Sunday, unless we're going out, there's no hair and makeup. I'm usually just either um, in leggings and a hoodie at home or some kind of dog walking clothes. But as I said, I've got um, some content that I need to film today. So I've just gone with quite a simple look, white t-shirt. This is actually my Arquette one. I've had this for years. Um, it definitely could have done with an iron, but can't be bothered. These are from my Very Edit as well. I've got them on with my slippers at the moment, but they've got a really nice, like, um, wide leg to them, and they are, like, slouchy, but the dark denim, I think, makes them look a bit smart still. How gorgeous. Look at this pearl necklace. The detail on it is so beautiful. It's got these little hands holding the ring. Look at the little fingers. I love pearl and gold mixed together, so I'm gonna pop two necklaces on. Oh, this one is from Missima, and this is my um, flat snake chain that I've had for years from Monica Vinida. Let's pop some hoops on. I want to get my videos filmed as quickly as possible, to be honest, because it's Sunday and I really, we haven't taken Bertie out yet and it's quite a nice day. So I want to get all of my work done this morning. Well, saying that, it's already 11.40 and I haven't really even started. Hopefully if I can be done by like two or three, then I can have the rest of Sunday too. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> I've got a few things to show you downstairs. Okay, let's open the bag. There's actually a blouse in the bush. 
Oh, God. Okay, you stay there now, please. This is actually one of my very shirts. It's so pretty. Look at the sleeves and the detail. Now there's a t-shirt stuck on the olive tree, the dead olive tree that I need to take out and replace. Let me show you the bag. So I did an exchange. It was quite lucky actually, because they said they do, they cover bags within like two years. And mine was um, just under two years. So that was, good timing that I took it in. To be honest, I should have taken it in last year because all of these things actually happened last year. But where it's just a seasonal bag, I'm only using it in spring and summer, after last summer, I haven't got it back out until like now. Okay. It is funny because they obviously take the bag away, wrap it up and then give it to you in the bag. So they could put anything in the bag, really. Um, right, so my receipt. Okay, is the right thing. So I don't know why I've built up so much suspense over this because I did just exchange it for the same bag. Luckily, they had these in stock and that's my main worry that they wouldn't. So oh, I've got a brand new bag. So yeah, so it's exactly the same as what I had before. This is the medium size. Um, this is actually, what is the full description of this? I think it's the Paula's Ibiza Lueve Anagram. Anagram basket medium bag. I love Loewe, it's one of my favorite um, designer brands. And actually I bought the original basket bag, I think I bought that in 2019. Um, and that, the quality of that, like that has, that looks good as new. And that cost me 295 pounds, which compared to now is almost, yeah, it's half the price. Where they've become so popular, the price has just gone up. And even with this, I bought this two years ago, and this was 595, which is so much money for a beach bag, essentially. Um, but even now, the price of it now is 675, so it's gone up another 100 pounds since I bought it. So I think that's why I love my first one I got so much, because it was 295, which compared to the prices now, it's just crazy. Um, but I do, I really do love this. It's got the um, short handles like that, and then it's also got the longer handles if you want to put it on your shoulder. And it's also got a little tie up here as well to tie it up. I was a bit nervous to take it into store, um, but I'm glad I put my big girl pants on and did it because now, what a bag! I've got these gorgeous flowers. Look how beautiful these are. Like, I feel like this is my favorite kind of um, bunch of flowers. It's hydrangeas. I don't know all the names of them. Hydrangeas, little roses, eucalyptus. I love this color palette so much. I just need to, I'm actually gonna put some fresh water in there. I should really just snip the ends off to refresh them, but my, like, some of them are woody stems and they don't actually cut with scissors, I need my secateur, so I'll do that later because they are in the shed. I'm going to keep that tie on them actually because it keeps them in such a nice shape and they fit in that vase so perfectly. Oh, they are so beautiful. Very sleepy boy today. You haven't said hello for a while. Oh, he's so tired today. In my very edit as well, there are a few homeware pieces. Um, so I've actually unboxed everything. I was just waiting on one more lamp to come. So I thought we could unbox that. And the sofa is such a mess just from the weekend. So I need to re like plump all the pillows, you know what it's like, tidy up. So Bertie, you're gonna have to move in a minute. Look at the base of that lamp. I absolutely love that stoneware finish. I 
I love that so much. Oh, this is so nice. I've popped the new lamp on this little side table and these cushions are also in my edit. I absolutely love this striped cushion. It goes so nicely with the sofa. And there's also these gorgeous cream ones and I love this little tufted detail on the side and they sit so nicely together. <laughs> such a lovely sunny day it just feels like spring is on its way and i've got washing hanging outside and actually birds is having a little sunbathe out there and the like the sun just makes me so happy i just feel so much more productive and yeah i'm just so thankful for the sun to be out um i've had my hair done and oh my god i just like forgot what it actually felt like to have your hair freshly done it hadn't even been that long it was only the beginning of january so it was like my normal time but it my hair just felt like it got so dark and it just looked so greasy and i was just really not enjoying my hair i've had all of my highlights put in and some um kind of like more face framing bits here as well like it's just brightened it up so much and i like my hair again now sometimes you just need like one thing doing to it either like a cut or color i actually find it's really hard to get the timing right to have cut and color at the same time so i often have them done separately and um, but sometimes you just need a some sort of refresh to um like your hair again that's what i found anyway and now in the vlog i'm actually going to show you i mean if you follow me over on instagram i've been posting quite a lot about it so you've probably already seen lots of the outfits from my very edit but i just wanted to add them in here as well if you have missed any as i was saying earlier in the vlog there's so many gorgeous spring and summery pieces they're just making me so excited for sunnier warmer days so yeah i'm gonna leave you with some behind the scenes of the shoot and also how i was styling the very outfits and then also after that i've just got back from paris with kerastas um we just went for a couple of days so i'm going to put the footage of that in as well <laughs> because I don't want to wash my hair so I don't want that one to come on. Is that going to be it? Oh there we go. Hello everyone. I am in Paris at the moment and I'm also losing my voice. So I'm here with Kara Stars and we got here yesterday and today we have such an exciting day. I don't, I need to I need to find something else to put under the camera because you're a bit low there. I think that might be better. Um, also, this noise, it's my slippers on the floor, I don't know why they're making that noise. Um, but yeah, so we got here yesterday. And then today, I am so excited because one of my favourite programmes is Inside the Factory with, with Greg Wallace. I love those kind of programmes. When I was younger, I always used to watch How It's Made. And today we are going to the Kerastase Labs in Paris. This is so exciting for me. I love seeing the process of something. I can't wait. I think we're wearing white 
like lab coats. Oh yeah, I just honestly cannot wait. I'm so excited to see it all. Um, I feel like I've been taking my sweet time a bit just now, so I need to hurry up a bit because we are leaving soon. Um, I don't know what's going on with my voice. I feel like I've got a bit of a cough as well, so I just don't know if I'm getting a bit of a cold or something, which is just so typical because do you remember when me and Tom went on holiday at the beginning of the year we got really poorly before we went and me and my mum are going on a little girls break next week we're actually going to Tenerife just for um three nights um we went away to Dubrovnik together last year and I like, really enjoyed it so we thought we're gonna do a yearly thing just a few nights away so I just hope that I don't get poorly for that um, right, I've got my SPF on and then I can let this soak in. Yesterday, we went to a Kerastar salon here in Paris and had a blow dry with the Premier products. I've shown these over on my Instagram. These are just, they're so nice for any damaged hair. They basically really, really uh, re like help to rebuild and protect your hair. And also they make it a lot brighter because there's calcium in the water basically which like dulls and damages our hair so these keep them uh, that kind of keeps that out it's honestly like such a dream to be here with Kerastase as I think you'll all know I've been a, such a huge fan for so many years so very exciting I got breakfast to my room this morning I chose this last night so there's the French toast um, and that should be scrambled egg do I not get toast with it? oh I thought it would come with toast, a coffee, orange juice, and some pastries. I suppose I could eat, have the little baguette with it. What's this? I thought that was like a roll of sweets or something, but that is butter. This looks nice, so, oh, I'm actually gutted about the toast, actually, but I can eat the baguette. I'm gonna eat this and then get ready. <laughs> Ready to go? We are super happy to welcome you today uh, here in the lab and to, um, to, uh, to make you uh, feel a little bit what is uh, the lab story around the last uh, launch. Our routine to make them more as super sophisticated and more um, uh, customizable, as customizable as possible. Uh, because we fine tune. We, we formulate with fine fragrance. Uh, that follow we know that 70% of the world population is exposed to calcium overdose. If we take Austria, for example, this is 86%. So I will put top water here and demineralized water here. If the uh, water is blue, that is to say there is no calcium in the water. So just for you to remember, this is the top water. that tap water has a lot of calcium in it. And this is demineralized water, so there is no calcium in the water. So I will mix concentré decalcifiant, ultra reparateur, which each that the water is becoming blue. That is to say we remove all the calcium ions in the water, and this is just the same in your head. If you want. And here we apply um, elixir on the swatches. And the hair fiber, fiber will rub this wire. That's crazy. Until the breakage. We're on the train now back to London and it's so warm in Paris. I had a wool jacket yeah, on. It's boiling. I feel really yeah, sweaty. Um, but we got to use the lounge at the Gardenaud station and they had some sweets. And you know me and a sweet, I'm not going to pass up some free sweets. But I didn't have anything to put them in. So I filled up my sunglasses case with them. Um, I've just set up with my laptop and I'm going to edit this vlog because it's currently Friday afternoon 
and I'm going to get this vlog edited so it can go live on Sunday. Um, so I'm going to have a productive train journey back. So that brings us to the end of this weekly vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it. And if you do enjoy watching my videos, I would love if you could subscribe to my channel as well. And until next week, we're clocking out. Peace. Is that, would that be your sign off if you had YouTube? That's actually already a YouTuber's sign off, so I can't really use it. It doesn't really like, I don't really fit, that fits well with me. Anyway, yeah. Tom, I'm trying to film this last clip of my video. You keep interrupting me. I'm sure you go. There's one more thing there. Yeah. No, go on, actually, I'll take a moment. Actually, I've got a thing there. Should I take a minute? No, just, I'll, what I'll, is it? Tell I'll, me now. I'll let you do sign off. Just remember, link in description, like and subscribe. As always, everything that I have mentioned in the vlog will be linked in the description as well. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.